Hello walkers and welcome to Kanab, Utah. It is about 9.30 in the morning and I need to check to make sure my audio is gonna be okay on this. I'm not using my headphones because I'm letting my son do that as he takes an online course here. Um, we're poaching some internet from Jack Lee's, Jackie Lee's coffee shop and uh, which has good coffee and muffins. So I'll give them a shout out at least. Um, it's, I think said 9.30, it's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's like two or three degrees, uh, four or five degrees Celsius maybe. Um, and we're walking down Highway 89. We started off at um, Main Street in 89. This is a, uh, Letter has fallen down from this theater, old timey theater. But we're just gonna walk around and explore. I'm not gonna say a whole lot because I don't know a whole lot. Um, but I will say this, it's an awesome, amazing part of Utah, right on, uh, not far from the Arizona border. We're here exploring slot canyons and the Red Rocks. Big popular area for camping on BLM land, Bureau of Land Management and uh, using a lot of ATVers and uh, 4x4 type stuff. So it's really kind of a busy area and we are having a great time. This is Aiken's Lodge, one of the several hotels. Um, there's a Best Western, a Comfort Suites. They're just up ahead here. There's also some Independence. There's a Holiday Inn Express and a Hampton Inn uh, and probably some others. <laughs> And uh, several restaurants and a uh, here's a Aiken's Lodge and a um, grocery store or two. And with that, we're just gonna walk. I, it is a windy day, so I apologize for that. This is the Rocking V Cafe that I'd kind of like to try. It looks good.
It's a kind of neat angel wing mural up here I'm going to take you around. Um, there's a roadway in as well. I guess I am going to talk a little bit more. Uh, that's pretty cool. There's this thing outside of town called Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. And it's something like 3,000 acres and they rescue really hard to adopt animals like horses and dogs and cats and stuff. And they have uh, some hikes and a visitor center. And it's really kind of a cool thing. Uh, just to the north of town on 89. And you can do a scenic drive loop. Uh, this is Peekaboo Canyon Wood-Fired Kitchen and the Flagstone Inn. Uh, and I guess there's a, like a little Hollywood where they filmed a lot of westerns over here. And there's several signs along the sidewalk that we've passed that I didn't call out, uh, but were pretty cool. Um, one was Don Knotts and Tim Conway. And it looks like over here, the museum and trading post, there's some old, it says movie sets. So I don't know uh, if that's something they created after the fact or what. Off to the right is a Best Friends Roadhouse Hotel, which is why I brought that up. You can see these amazing cliffs and red rocks and stuff. This is, of course, not natural right here, but uh, beyond is really cool. Here's one of those uh, plaques. It's Tom Mix. And I'm only going up here because I want to show you some of the other cliffs. And then we'll cut back. It's a day's in and sweets. Anyway. Here's another one, Jim Davis. He looks familiar. I think mostly older movies, <coughs> old westerns. He's got a, uh, the roadhouse has some uh, EV chargers, which is cool. Pardon my sniffles. <clears throat> it says Ellie's Castle with some cool. Zero escape decorations, interesting rock formations. <clears throat> I 
We're gonna get back into a little bit of this neighborhood. As we walk, you can see, get a sense of the scale of these things, even with this wide angle lens. As they, you look, look at the parallax of the video. more historic home over here. This is 100 North and 200 West. Those are the street names. And off to the left, you can see those red rocks, some of them. And we're not too far from Zion National Park, which is a, one of the coolest parks. And you can actually look over and see it in the distance from when we go back towards our campsite. Of course, you won't be able to do that, but it's really striking to see it from a distance as well. Of course, I've got the... Uh, river walk video if you go to the channel and look around. <clears throat> That's pretty striking. Here's one of these uh, all-terrain vehicles you see a ton of racing around through the sand. People having a great time doing that. As someone put it, they're kind of annoying when you're not in them, but when you are in them, they're super fun. Uh, I haven't done it, but I, I would. Uh, and it's good to see people out having fun with their families. <clears throat> Speaking of that, I like to give a shout out to public lands a lot. Uh, Utah has a ton of Bureau of Land Management which uh, over the years has been referred to as BLM, which now has, of course, a different, an, an alternative or an additional meaning for the uh, Black Lives Matter movement. But when I say BLM here, I'm referring to the public lands. And, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of mining and grazing on BLM land, but there's also a lot of recreational opportunities in fact, you can camp on BLM land in most places in uh, 16 days per location, 14 days per location for free. In most cases, I think some places you might get uh, like a $20 permit or $30 permit or something. But compared to a campground, that's a pretty amazing deal if you have the ability to do that. Um, and well worth the money. Here's another one of those plaques. I'm not going to show you all of these, but I, uh, I watched a lot of uh, Turner Classic movies as a kid growing up. And uh, it's fun to see some of these old faces. And I didn't really introduce myself if you're new to this channel. Sorry about that. My name is Henry. I am your proxy walker, your virtual travel guide. Sorry about that truck. Uh, welcome. Love getting your comments and that sort of thing. So please share your thoughts. Your gentle corrections and suggestions are always appreciated, uh, as well as your personal stories. So, so we're back on 89 here. If we loop back. I'm just headed up because once we get to Maine, there's some more interesting stuff to see, and then I'll head. The 89 sort of loops to the right or south. We'll see another big red bluff and we'll go back into uh, the neighborhood back there. Some cool old, a uh, few cool old buildings.
can see the bluffs again. And this is landscaped right here, but it's the kind of rock that's around here. You can see really red, interesting color. Sandstone. Sometimes sections of it are called slick rock because it can be fairly smooth, like a fine, uh, smooth for rock, <laughs> like a fine sandpaper. So I mentioned my son's taking a class online. It's on geographic information systems. And it's really kind of cool that he can do that in this day and age <clears throat> from the wilds of Utah. This is the uh, Church of Christ and Latter-day Saints. Back to Maine and uh, 89 here, and there's Jakey Lee's coffee shop. We're not going to stop yet, but I'm going to check in on my son. Make sure I can get a thumbs up in case he needs some technical support. push the button, I'm going to go ahead and cross here. All right, you gave me the thumbs up, so we're going to keep on walking. Sorry about that swerve. Here's a map of Ute of Kanab. You can see how it kind of comes down here. Now, we're over there. Awesome uh, clear skies here. It is a fantastic place for stargazing. I'm going to try and take some uh, astral photography, some star photos. Just waiting because it's full moon and I need you can't shoot those when it's full moon. Uh, so I, it, I'm waiting for it to rise late enough to get some shots. I mentioned the hotels earlier. Uh, and I kind of like these old independent ones too. Uh, 
they uh, they just got that 50s, 60s flair to them. At least the signage. This is Denny's Wigwam. It looks like a uh, one of those places that you. Uh, I don't know what it is. It could be a restaurant. It could be a souvenir shop. That's what I was looking for. The Perry Lodge and Motel. It's pretty classic looking. There's a lot of those uh, plaques over there, so I have to assume it's been around for a while. You can see the K up there on the cliff, maybe, for Canab. Oh, a bunch of, uh, so a lot of RV and Jeep tours, that sort of thing, but you can hire, uh, you can pay to go on a tour. They'll take you to the slot canyons. You can go rappelling down through the slot canyons. Absolutely beautiful, very cool thing to do if you get the chance. And, uh, pardon me. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I don't know, I'm going to, well, I can't promise, but if I get the opportunity, I might try to film some, uh, some slot can canyon. If not, check out the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'll post some phone videos, at least some short clips of walking through sections. Um, I'll probably already have by the time this actually gets posted. There's the Hampton Inn, Holiday Inn Express in the distance. I believe this might be the visitor information, yeah. So if you're looking for information on things to do, tours, guides, that sort of thing, come over to this place. Looks pretty colorful. Not far from here is the Coral Pink Sand Dune State Park. A lot of great state parks. Some more of these uh, all-terrain vehicles. We'll go down another block here. Um, and we'll, we will go past the Heritage House Museum. The uh, street names here are not, everything's kind of laid out on a grid, typically, in a lot of these towns. And so you get streets named 100, 200, 300, and then east, west, north, south kind of thing. So we're at the corner of 100 east and 100 south, which can be a little bit confusing at times. This is the Adventure Tour Company, one of those places you can hire to take you back on some of these back roads and find some of these more remote slot canyons. We went to one yesterday called Peekaboo, and we had uh, we were in four wheel big diesel half ton and full or three quarter ton and another full ton truck, and they were almost too heavy to get back in there because it's so sandy. old theater. Looks like they're closed for the, well, for 2020. <laughs> That's the code. this. That's a pretty yard. Lots of some flowers coming up.
the Wild Time Cafe. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna make a right on 200 South, West, I don't remember. Can't keep track. Look at these giant wide streets. And look at, the, oh, something smells delicious. Uh, and those awesome red cliffs. Those are only maybe a mile away. Coming back to Main Street, and we're going to make a right, and uh, we'll go up by that Heritage Museum. into the wind, of course, so I apologize for that. I'll do what I can in post to take it out. I have a question for you guys, uh, and I'll try to remember to put this in the beginning of my next one. <clears throat> uh, would it be useful to have a little map section in the lower corner that will kind of indicate where I am when I, as I walk? Whew. There's a uh, way for this gust to die down here. There's some software that'll allow me to do that, and I'm considering purchasing it. This is the Heritage House Museum. by appointment only for now. This is 100 South. We're uh, headed north, incidentally.
at these. It's like fruit trees of some sort, apple trees or cherry trees. A neat old western style home as well. Let's cross over. Take a look. Oh, it looks like it's called the Purple Sage Inn. It's got a neat uh, fruit tree in here as well. <clears throat> Looks like it would be a pretty place to stay. Some old historic horse-drawn equipment. Nice yard. Bed and breakfast, so yeah, it might be nice. Not sponsored, by the way. Just looks cool. Post office across the way. All right, and we are getting back to Highway 89 and one Main Street, uh, which is our uh, oof, starting place. And I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this walk. I know it's a little shorter than normal, but uh, it's a small town and it's cold and windy. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining us. Leave me a comment. I love getting your comments, love reading your comments. I'm a little behind on reading them right now because we've been on the road. Uh, and had spotty cell service. But I will be getting back to all the ones that YouTube will show me, which uh, still have an issue with that. But hope you come back, join us again soon, see what we have to post next. I'm not sure where it's gonna be. So it'll be a surprise for all of us. Anyway, you guys take care and keep on stepping from Kanab, Utah.